Assessment quickies, student learning outcome assessment in 10 easy steps. Step one, what are student learning outcomes? Hi, my name is Michelle, and with the help of Professor Walter, we will provide answers to some of the most commonly asked questions about assessment. By the end of this podcast, you will know what student learning outcomes are and some of their uses. Michelle, so what is a student learning outcome? A student learning outcome, or SLO for short, is a brief statement of what you want students to know and be able to do. A student learning outcome can be a statement of what students will know and be able to do at the end of a course or at the end of a degree program. I understand course level student learning outcomes. I've got them in my syllabi. But why do we need degree program level outcomes? Degree program level outcomes are needed so that everyone is aware of everything that the students will know and be able to do by the end of the degree program. Who sets the student learning outcomes? Faculty who are responsible for the program establish the student learning outcomes. You, as faculty, are expert in the discipline, whether it's English, biology, or engineering. Where can I find examples of student learning outcomes for my program? You can look at similar programs at other colleges or universities. Your national association may suggest SLOs. You can refer to your campus general education program's learning outcomes. If you're in a professional program, the accrediting agency will have SLOs. You can invite interested parties to discuss SLOs, such as alumni, your advisory board, employers, or faculty from master's and doctoral programs. You can also survey experts. But how many student learning outcomes should a degree program have? There's no magic number that would be right for all programs. Try looking at the SLOs of other similar programs to see if there seems to be a typical number. Most programs have about five or six SLOs on average, but you can have more or fewer. Who selects the student learning outcomes? The department chair? Defining the SLOs for the degree program should be done by the entire faculty as a whole or the majority of the faculty teaching in the degree program. What is the process for deciding on SLOs for the degree program? Most faculty identify with their individual courses or their specialty more than with the complete range of knowledge and skills over an entire degree program. So it may take a couple of faculty meetings, perhaps a a half-day retreat with assistance from an experienced facilitator or attending an assessment workshop. What can we do with the student learning outcomes once they're decided on? Well, for starters, you can post them on your department or degree program webpage. You can put them in the university catalog, or you can include them in your promotional materials. Okay, Michelle, now that I know what an SLO is, what's the next step? In the next podcast, we'll talk about how to write program-level SLOs and more of their uses. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast.